Fullness family. I hope y'all are having an excellent weekend out there. Hope y'all are having a, a beautiful afternoon. I just wanted to, to take this opportunity to, to really connect with you guys on some sacred plant teachings and, and also a couple more things. So I know you guys all may be feeling a lot of pressure out there right now. We, we have this unique astrological thing going on. It's called a grand mutable cross. And essentially what that is, is all of the planetary bodies and energies are really putting some of the most amount of pressure that they can put on us right now. And the way that this is coming up uh, generally for people is it's really calling people to know their inner sense of self-worth, be connected to their true unlimited potential and, and really know where their, their own power is internally. And <clears throat> this, this can also be coming up as a, a choice that we have to make a, a choice to really step on this new path of our own potential and our own self-worth. And we also, what we have going on this weekend is a new moon as well. Uh, traditionally, the new moon is an excellent time for cleansing. It's also an excellent time to, to plant seeds and intentions and really invite into our lives what it is that we're looking for. So this is an excellent time to to connect with that, that potential and that, that power and then invite in that new path uh, that it is we're looking to, to walk on. And so that being said, I really wanted to share some, some teachings about this amazing sacred master plant teacher known as Tobacco. I know a lot of you guys out there probably have uh, some mixed feelings and, and stories and, and different things like that going on with the tobacco plant and, and that's okay. Uh, because the way that tobacco is really being uh, shared and the image that's being put out there about this plant has is, is really been abused a lot in our culture. Uh, essentially these major corporations are really uh, abusing uh, this plant. They're adding in a lot of chemicals and additives that, that really harm the body. They make it more addictive and I don't in any way, shape or form uh, encourage anyone to use tobacco in that sense. That being said, uh, one of the major reasons that tobacco has been pushed so much uh, out there in this way is, is not really so much just because of its potential addictive nature, but because of the true power that this, this, this amazing plant has. Uh, in the native traditions, it's known as the, f the first plant. Uh, the first sacred plant teacher. It's also known as the grandfather because it's related to the, the element of fire. Uh, traditionally, uh, it's used as a, a way of cleansing the body, but also as a, a way to really tap into and communicate uh, and ask for things with the, the spirit realm because it resonates with the fire and the spirit realm. Uh, it has a, a special way of being able to communicate with that realm and being able to, to resonate uh, intentions in, in prayers with that realm. So uh, as you can see uh, this would create a rather chaotic situation that we have right now going on with tobacco because your average person the way that they're they're using tobacco um, is in a way to, to kind of relieve stress. You know a lot of people you see going out at the bars or at work and they're they're smoking and uh, in the native tradition they would say that simply holding tobacco, especially while it's lit, the intents uh, that we have and the, the thoughts that we have are, are exponentially increased by a hundred to even a thousand fold. So you can see how going outside and, and in between your, your jobs and your stress and you're, you're talking with your friends about all these things and you're, you're basically inviting those energies into your life. Now, the, the way that we can kind of counteract this, this negative relationship is by developing uh, a very intentional, sacred relationship with this plant. So, uh, you know, whether it's going to the, the outlet, the tobacco outlet store, or, you know, the, maybe you have some friends that have some ceremonial tobacco. This here is Mapacho. It's a special strain of tobacco from the Amazon in, in Peru. But you can go and get any form of natural additive free tobacco. Uh, Native American spirit even makes a great organic tobacco that you can use. Now traditionally uh, this, this plant you would take it and you would roll it in either a corn husk or you can put it in a pipe. Um, 
if you if you can't get either of these things, you can just go get some regular papers, whether it's like raw papers or some sort of hemp or rice paper. Roll it up, and what you're gonna do is you're you're gonna calm yourself, center yourself, uh, put out, uh, offer a bit to to each of the four directions. You can also work with the six directions above and below, or the seven directions, which is inward as well. Whatever you feel most called to. Um, after you make an offering to the directions, then offer uh, a little bit to maybe the earth, the, the sun, the moon, the stars, whatever it is you feel really called to. Now when we're doing these, these offerings and we're, we're working with the tobacco, we only are going to take it into our mouth. We're not going to take it into our lungs um, because, you know, of course that can still hurt our lungs uh, a little bit, but we take it into our mouth and then we uh, focus our intent and our energy and our our prayer into the the tobacco smoke and then we offer it out into uh, the surrounding space around us uh, because this plant resonates uh, in the way it does that has a way of calling in these things and transmitting to these different aspects of our our greater supreme being self and uh, yeah, so there, there are a number of other ways that we can work with tobacco. If, if you don't feel called to smoke it at all, if it really doesn't resonate with you, you can just take a little bit of it, um, focus your intent and your prayers and your, your offerings to the, the different directions into the, the tobacco, and then you can offer it to a fire if, if that's the way that you want to work with it. Now, if you really don't feel called to work with tobacco at all, that's okay too, but I still really want to encourage you guys to to take this opportunity, this new moon, uh, the the grand mutable cross, and at least get outside in nature. Maybe this evening, as the the sun's going down, the moon's uh, you know coming up. Even though you won't really be able to see it because it's a new moon, but that the twilight time is really a great time for this. So you know, go outside, really connect with nature. Um, you know, go into a deep meditation and really look inside yourself uh, with the, your, un, find your unlimited potential. Find that point in you that, that really isn't bound by anything and then call in those things that you're looking for, those things that you're seeking and, and really invite in that new path. And I hope this has helped all of you. And if you're, you're still really needing some help, you know, always feel free to contact me, universalsolutions.com, hugs.world, and you can find me on Facebook. My name is Thomas Sockwitz, and thank you all. Hope you're having an uh, excellent weekend.